SafeMoon has posted an update regarding the upcoming Ethereum merge, this being mentioned inside of the SafeMoon wallet. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. From SafeMoon Warrior, he helps shares this graphic or shared this graphic. SafeMoon wallet is now displaying a notification regarding the upcoming Ethereum merge to proof of stake. So there's lots of different consensus models that are out there. For example, proof of work, proof of stake is another one. This right here says, there's no need to panic when you hear the word merge. You won't need to do anything. Once the merge is complete, all of your Ethereum holdings will be on the upgraded chain automatically. So these are the ERC-20 holdings. Things will function just as usual. However, power consumption on the Ethereum blockchain will be reduced by 99.9% with proof of stake. Just to share a little bit more information on this, this is specifically about the Ethereum itself. When is it supposed to happen and why? Now, this is regarding the merge. The exact timing for the merge is unclear, but developers said they're giving themselves a September 19th deadline to apply the finishing touches. In August, they said they would start rolling out the merge on September 6th and finish everything between September 10th and September 20th, Coindesk reported. The merge is happening now because Ethereum is mature enough to handle financial payments, store non-fungible tokens, trade crypto, and host smart contracts, said blockchain expert Marav Ozer. But streamlining the process to add data to the blockchain could make those and other transactions much faster, according to developers. Ethereum can carry out 15 transactions per second in its current form said Azair, founder of startup company Blockchain Intelligence. But if the merge is successful, the blockchain could eventually handle up to 100,000 transactions per second, way above and beyond what Visa and MasterCard can do, she said. How would the merge reduce carbon emissions? In a blockchain network, transactions aren't verified by a bank, credit card company, or other third party. Rather, it relies on a network of computers competing to solve complex problems in exchange for tokens. It takes thousands of computers to verify transactions on the Ethereum blockchain, a process known as proof of work. All of those powerful server computers chugging away together requires vast amounts of power. The Ethereum blockchain uses about 112 terawatt hours of electricity a year, roughly the same amount of energy used to power the Netherlands. That level of energy consumption releases about 53 metric tons of harmful carbon emissions into the environment annually, the same amount Singapore produces in a year. The merge replaces the proof of work system with an alternative approach called proof of stake. In that system, cryptocurrency owners known as validators verify transactions and record them on a new block. Because proof of stake involves fewer people using their computers to verify transactions, fewer terawatt hours are burned. Using proof of stake, the merge is projected to reduce Ethereum blockchain's energy consumption by 99.9%, developers said. So that fits in line with what we saw that SafeMoon's team had said, right? Will the merge make it safer to use cryptocurrency? Quite possibly. Since December 2020, Ethereum developers have been running essentially two different versions of the blockchain at the same time. The Beacon version was used so they could test the proof of stake system, while the mainnet version carried on with business as usual using proof of work. But having both versions running gave hackers twice as many entry points to potentially attack Ethereum. After the merge, the mainnet version will disappear and financial transactions will only live on Beacon. Deleting one version of the chain, combined with having a small pool of validators, will reduce the odds of a hacker harming the, uh, the blockchain developer said. It's important to note that these changes have not yet proven to make accounts safer because they haven't been tested on a wide enough scale. Ethereum developers have posted a warning on the foundation's website, explaining the way hackers may try to scam users for the digital currency. I'll just read a little bit more here. Moving to a proof of stake system will likely create haves and have nots among the validators and have everyone else who uses Ethereum, said Brian Daughtry, the global public policy director for BSV Blockchain Association. That's because to become a validator on Ethereum, someone must invest at least 32 Ether, roughly $52,000, and agree to keep those tokens stashed away in a separate account under those rules. Anyone who doesn't have that much cryptocurrency can't serve to validate Ethereum transactions, Daughtry said. The way I look at this is the plan now is to eliminate mining overall and award those coins to those with the biggest positions. He said, agreeing to stash away Ether in exchange 
could come back to haunt the validators too, especially if the price of Ether falls dramatically and someone wants to sell, Daughtry said. You're forcing people to lock up your coins, he said. That seems major red flaggy to me. And that is it for this coverage update on the upcoming Ethereum merge. So do keep in mind, this was talking about by September 20th. So we're looking at approximately one week left until this takes place. Be careful. Do not fall for these scams that are out there. Again, there's no need to panic when you hear the word merge. You won't need to do anything. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Double shout out thank you to WeLoveSafeMan.com or at Shaker, Victor Vegas, SafeMan Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members for your guys' support. I am not a financial advisor. Please go do your own research. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.